Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. So, um, actually, I was just working on this very lovely A321 model that I'm probably gonna keep on my desk now, um, when the door just rang and I received the package. Um, and that package is another one for the series of FCR Don't Die X by Zuya GTX 460s. So we've had the 460 SOC, we've had the 460 uh, dual uh, GPU from EVGA, and now we have this. Um, he got this for very cheap, for what it is. He paid like 40 euros for this, uh, including shipping, and he gets the GeForce GTX 460 WHDI, um, completely original packaging, all accessories. Um, and yeah, we're gonna take a look at that right now. So the box actually comes in two pieces, so here's the actual card. And then I don't know what's in here, but it's about the same weight. Um, let's find out. I hope I'm not opening this up. I did open it up the wrong way. More stuff in there. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I have... so... I know what the general idea of this graphics card is. We've got the user manual. Another user manual. Driver CD. So this is the KFA2 branded one. Um, so KFA2, if you didn't know, is Galax. But they can sell under the Galax name in Europe because uh, I think Samsung had a problem with that. So they name themselves KFA2 for everything they sell in Europe. And then... That's interesting, I can test that. That's an American plug. At least I think it is. It is rated for 240 volts, I could try to adapt it. But yeah, how does... How does a thing with a plug like this make it to Europe? Uh, VGA to DVI adapter. A this is probably the stand for this. Oy. And that is and it goes in like this. Okay, so power, HDMI, out, USB, I have, is this, I, okay, so, as far as I know, this is a GTX 460 with a Wi-Fi card integrated into it, but this looks like something more, that's uh, an HDMI cable, a pretty long one, okay, so this is like, and this is empty, oh, that's where the, uh, this went, and then that one was a bit too big. Okay, um, I have no idea what this part is. I um, will have to check. <laughs> so now let's get to the actual card. Oh, one of the antennas came out. So yeah. Um, it's a very long GTX 460. And I mean, of course, we're gonna take it apart. I wanna see, I mean, the VRM looks rather standard on this. The special part about it is this. Um, it has like Wi-Fi integrated. It has a DVI display port and that's a, wait, is that USB? And it has a button and two LEDs. Okay. <laughs> um, and then we have the Wi-Fi antennas. My test bench is currently set up for Sub-Zero on the NVS 300, because the end of cheapest chips is coming up. Or like, I've been pronouncing it wrong, it's cheap as chips. Um, but yeah, that looks interesting. Okay, so that's probably VRM heatsink, so... Is the heatsink really just these four? Okay. So 
so it should just come off now. One thing I hate about Fermi cards is because they have an IHS, they have insane... Like, you have to use a lot of force to separate the cooler from them, and it always feels like you're ripping off the core from the PCB, which did actually happen to some people. Admittedly, those people were kind of sloppy, but um, I'm still kind of scared that it happens to me. Okay, we've got just one fan cable. That's a pretty good VRM heatsink. Well, that fan cable is not coming out. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so, as you can see, the right end of the card is a pretty standard looking GTX 460, and then the left part is this, which, as far as I know, is a Wi Fi card. Um, but it has five antennas, and I like you only need one or two for Wi-Fi, so I think this does it is this like a wireless display output? I should have read more into this. Um maybe I'll make a second video of but well I can't really demonstrate it with the American plug, I need an adapter. Um I'm mostly interested in the graphics card part of this, but that like that's cool. That's a that's a thing that I don't know anything about. Um, so, this video is just looking at it. I have no idea how it works or what it does. The only thing I know it's like wireless. Um, so yeah, uh, let's take off the VRM heatsink. I wanna... that looks like 4 plus 1 phase. So it's not completely referenced. They added one V-core phase as it looks like. And maybe we'll see some interesting MOSFETs, who knows. Uh, this is Galax after all. They have wacky ideas. That's rather standard looking MOSFETs. What are those? MDU2657 and MDU2654. I th think I've seen these before and I think they are not very good. But, uh, well, we still... It looks like 4 coffee. It wouldn't really make sense if it's a 3 plus 2. Um, let's get the thermal paste off. That's actually like pretty clean. Yeah, so that's a completely normal GF104 325A1. That should be the GTX 460 core. Um, and we have Samsung EDI memory chips. So that's one gigabit EDI GDDR5. Uh, yeah, GDDR5. Oh, we have. That's a non step. That's a non-reference controller. That's a CHO controller. I need to uh CHA A314. I haven't seen this before. Okay. But like that looks like it's a rather high end controller. Maybe it's That might be memory controller. What is that? It's a UP6161GC. Yeah, that looks like a one-phase PWM controller. So our CJ controller is like, maybe it's like a four-phase variant of... Actually, I don't know what CJ controller was high-end at the time. Um, but yeah, it's not the standard like UPI or NCP controller that you see on 460s. Um, so this probably supports I2C. Is there an... No, it doesn't look like there's any uh, I2C, like pre-made I2C connections here. Maybe this? But I think that's standard on all 460s. That might be something else. Yeah, anyway, um, very interesting card. I don't really want to take this part apart, um, because, like, first of all, only see one screw. No, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's two screws. 
but like there's a daughter board on the daughter board like and I really don't want to break it so I guess I'll just um, like I can you can peek under it there's not anything under there anyway so I'll just keep it together um, yeah so let, 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 um, let's take a bit of a look at the PCB then first thing I noticed is like there's empty um, you see those empty spots at the output. So first off, the output capacitors are 12,000 microfarads. That's a lot. And then we have these three unoccupied um, SMD polymer spots. On the back, well, a couple more layer ceramics, that's pretty standard. And then they filled this one with, the uh, with an SMD polymer. And then these ones, they just chose to put some rather big ceramics. I think these don't do much. I think I've been told that these big MLCC ones don't really do anything um, because like they're too big to like have the advantages of multi-layer ceramics and too, too small capacity to really matter in a, in a different way. Um, but at least you have them like some 460, like my 460 Hawk, which is like an overclocking focused 460 didn't even have them. They were just empty. So <laughs> yeah. Like as far as the, like, that's a lot of capacitance and some pretty nice modding potential if you can like sold on capacitors without blowing these up in the process. But I think this card will not be modded for like overclocking. This is like, I mean, that that part's a special thing about the card, not this. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it looks cool, I think. Um, and also, I've been told by uh, by FCR that apparently there's no YouTube content on this card at all, like in in depth, like looking at the PCB and VRM. So, I guess that's cool. <laughs> My video might pop up rather high in the search results, and so I'm gonna clean the normal paste also off here. That's Yeah, the heatsink's rather standard. Two small heat pipes, actually rather thick fins. That's what I like. I, I like that since the fin stack's not very like. I mean, here's where the Wi-Fi bit goes, and then here's where the VRM heatsink goes. So it's about as big as it gets. Um, could still like those look like four or six millimeter heat pipes. Could have gone with eight. 10 millimeter might have been a bit hard to get in there, but eh, yeah. And then yeah, just one fan, which seems to be rather like it, it, it's a it's a rather beefy fan, just judging by the hub, like the size of the fan hub. And just overall, I think it's a pretty good looking card. Like the the silver finish looks definitely pretty good, and the like thick fins also have a nice aesthetic than the rather thin uh, thin fins that you usually see. Because like the, these like first off they look bigger, and then they also usually bend less. Like sometimes you get like these very thin fins are really easy to bend, and sometimes you get them out of the factory and they're already bent, and that just looks pretty bad. But yeah. Um, it's a very unique card that apparently seems to be really rare. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's not long ago that I didn't even know this one existed. And then one just popped up in Germany and FCR just had to have it. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to, to help him get this card. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm happy I get to play around with it while I have it. Um, and once my test bench is no longer like has the face change connected to it, I will also test if it works. I mean, I'm assuming it works. It looks to be in a pretty good state. Um, but then, like, we had the 460 that was not, like, the uh, 460 for the win. or oh, not for the win. To win. Um, the dual GPU 460 from EVGA, that one was also described as working, and it wasn't. It had PCB damage and was artifacting, and... Yeah. But this one looks... 
like it was rather well maintained. I mean, it came with the original box and all the accessories. This one, like, it's a bit dusty. It was used. But it looks like um, it was taken care of. I don't think the thermal paste was ever changed. But, um, yeah, but other than that, pretty good state of the card. Um, yeah, happy to see such a rare and unique card in such a good state. Uh, and also, like, the lighting in my new place is really good, so, like, the video looks really nice as well. So, yeah, I guess that's, um, that's about it for, like, a quick look, a uh, quick uh, board level review of the uh, GTX 460 WHDI. And... If if I get some more ideas, if like FZR think, can think of something I can do with the card to like uh, show it off a bit, like I would like to test the Wi-Fi uh, functionality of it with something. But I, well, there's the American plug issue, um, and also I don't exactly know what it does. I I always thought it's just a card with integrated Wi-Fi, but like given that extra like that black box, and then given that it's like more than two antennas, I think this does a lot more than just Wi-Fi. Um, like I don't really know what WHDI is. It has a trademark symbol. You gotta be important somehow. Um, so, yeah. Well, we did take a look at it, and uh, yeah, pr it's a cool card. Like. You don't see this every day. Like the, I think there's a card that also had like integrated Ethernet or something. But um, yeah, really cool card. If you want to see more than this, I suggest you can uh, watch the Hardware Legends series from Der Bauer, who actually, since I've now moved to Berlin, which is where Der Bauer lives, if he somehow sees this video. I wants to make a video about the card. Like, FCR already gave me permission to, if their Bauer has interest in this card. Um, yeah, totally just, like, send an email and we can meet up and you can make a video about it. Like, we already talked about that possibility since I'm now, like, in Berlin and can easily meet up with him if he wants. So, yeah. Um, maybe you'll see this card on his channel then, too, if he thinks it's interesting enough. Um... But anyway, I think that should be it for the video for now. Um, yeah, I'm, ki I'm kind of sad that I can't really give you any more details to the, to the special functionality of the card. Um, but it certainly does look cool, and it's it's nice to see it in such a good preserved state. Actually, what serial number is it? Uh, does it even have a serial number, really? It doesn't really say SN anywhere. Just some, well, many of these could be the serial number. Anyway, yeah, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, rare look. Um, don't see this every day. And yeah, until next time, goodbye.